Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you about the new logo package express. It's an extension for Illustrator, which you can buy. And my friend Michael has released it today. So it's really useful, super cool tool. It's going to save you like so much time, especially when you have client projects and you've got logos and stuff. It literally saves all the files for you. And I'm going to show you how to use it really quickly today and how easy it is. So it's like really worth the investment. And I encourage you guys to you know invest in it and it's gonna boost up your you know, graphic design business. So first up, I'm just gonna show you where you put the file when you purchase it and you get the download. You'll just get a zip folder and you pretty much unzip the folder. And you can see here, I'll double click on the folder and you see these are all the files. So literally all you do is you copy that unzip folder. I'm on a PC so I may look a little bit different, but you'll see um, it's in, I go to my C drive, then users, and then you wanna go to your user name, app data, and then I click on roaming and then Adobe CEP and extensions. So that's where I went to put the folder in. So as you can see there, you can screenshot it or come back to the video. So that's the, the direction you have to go to put the folder in and you just put it in there. Then pretty much close Illustrator um, and then open it up again. And then what you do is you go to window extensions and you click it here and it's gonna open. So you'll get this window pop up which is pretty cool. And you can see here the logo picker and then you've got some buttons here which we'll go through. So I'm just gonna drag to the side here so you guys can see it. And I'm just gonna use one of these old logos that I have. So when you have your logo, you wanna make sure that it's fully finalized and complete and designed. And you don't wanna have any live text or like anything that's not in groups or whatever. So you wanna make sure that it's all outlined. So you wanna to go to type and you wanna go create outlines. So that will turn your um, type to shapes. And what you wanna do now is you wanna select the different parts. So the way it works is that you have your logo. So you've got your main logo, your type, you, you or your logo type, you've got your logo mark, and then you've got like a tagline. So it may look different based on your projects. What you wanna do is it, even if you don't have a tagline or you don't have a logo mark, you could just have the logo. That's totally cool. It's still gonna work no matter what. So once you've done that, you wanna select these and go to your Pathfinder and make sure you unite everything in their groups. So you can see I'm clicking Unite just to make sure everything is expanded and united together like that. So you can see here I've got these three parts. So what I'm going to do now, I have already have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these, select the whole logo, and I want to click Set Logo. So now what you, you can see what ha has happened. It's actually created a new Illustrator um, document, and you can see here the logo is here. And now what I can do is actually start to select the components. So this is my logo mark. So you can see on the um, right hand side, it says set logo mark. You can see my full logos there and you can see it's got the color on it. So I'll select it, click set logo mark and it should add it to this box. I'll select the logo type. I'll click set logo type and then I'll select the little tagline here. You can see it's not grouped. So I'll just go and group that really quickly. And then I'm gonna go set tagline. So now you can see we've got all the components. We've got the full logo, the logo type, the logo mark, and the tagline. You can see in the boxes, you get these little buttons. You can see it reverses it out. So if you don't like the white, you can just reverse it out to the black, which is pretty cool. If you made a mistake, you can actually click on the bin and that's gonna delete it. So if you don't have a logo mark at all, you don't need to add anything, but maybe you added the wrong shape or logo part. You can just delete it with the bin. As you can see, delete, and then you can just re-add them, add the right part. So once you've done that, um, before we start to make the logos, you want to go to settings. You can also refresh this whole page if it's if you made a mistake. So you can click this little refresh button and it's literally going to refresh all these logos. So if I just show you, it will say, would you like to begin a new logo package? So it'll pretty much just wipe this and then it'll, you, you can start again. But I want to pay attention to this little cog here. You can see if you click that, we get some settings. So we can turn some things off or on. If you don't want Pantones, maybe you're just working on a um, a small budget project and they don't need Pantones and they just need like basic CMYK printing, you can turn these off like that. But I, I like to have Pantone so you know I can show my client they can use that in the future. And uh, you can leave that on automatic, it works pretty well in this. Um, you can leave the inversion um, fine so it, it inverts. So it make this is pretty much makes all the reverses. So um, the black and white um, and the grayscale and stuff. So it's gonna reverse it out. And then for your, my print files, you can see it's got AI, PDF, and EPS. Um, that Michael doesn't recommend, I don't recommend 
using EPS because it will take a, a, a longer time because EPS files are really big. And secondly, your client may not need it, but I'll do it separately in Illustrator and fi go file, save as to do that. And then you can see in my web file formats, I've got AI, SVG, JPEG, and PNGs. So for transparency, so I can tick any of them off. If I don't want any of them, um, you can just tick those off. Um, you can see the resolution. You can put it down. Maybe you're just doing web logos and not print. You can just leave the resolution down, but I'm just going to leave it on 300 and that's fine. And the scale, I can change the scale if you want. So maybe you want 800. That's cool. And we can just leave it like that. So what I can do is I can press back. You've also got this other button here. Um, if you need help with extra tutorials, you can just go through here and it's got some questions. If you have um, you know, any questions, you click on it and it'll take you to another link, which is totally cool. So I'm going to press back. So once you've done that, we're ready to make the logos. So all you have to do is literally press this button and it will do it all for you. So I'm going to press it and you can see the program starts to act. Um, the AI is starting to create all the files for me. And then what it's going to ask me to do after this is I'm going to select the, the folder to put it in. And then it's going to start generating all those files into the set folder. So you can see here, if I zoom in now, you can see here it's saved. It has the names. So you can see full color CMYK. It's got all the names, got the tagline, the full logo, the, you know, the logo type. And then it saves all the different versions. And then you can see it's got the reverse, so black and white. It's got maybe the gold on the black. And maybe I don't want this. Maybe I don't need this. So I can literally just delete this. So I select it, press delete, and it won't create those files. I can do it for this style as well. I don't need the, the gold on the black. So you can just delete them and it won't create that file. So you can see here, we've got the gray and then down here, it's got the PMS. So it will say full color PMS. So that's Pantone and U means uncoded and C means coded. So those, those are the standard PMS colors and it automatically converted it for me as you can see there. And if I go into my swatches panel on the right here, you can see if I double click, it actually has the Pantone number there, which you can use for reference for your clients and stuff and put it in your files. So you can see that it has it there, which is super handy and it did it automatically. So you can see it's done all those files. And now you'll see, if I go back to the Logo Express here, you can see it says, um, this is your last chance to adjust anything. So if I want to delete anything um, or adjust anything, you can do that. But I'm sweet, so I'm just going to press this button, export print logos. Once you do that, Put in your client name, so you can just type in whatever your client name is. So I just put Ceylon Candles. And then I go to Browse. And then I locate my folder, so I'm just going to put it in Logo Express Test. Once you've done that, all you have to do is press Create Logo Package. And now you'll see it will start to generate those files into the PDF, into the AI that we set it and what we selected. Um, so it's generating all those files, and it's actually naming them and putting them into the folder. So it's like super easy. Like I didn't have to do much, literally. I just had to press a few buttons and like it's saving me so much time. Like imagine I had to do that like for my client work and had to manually copy artboards and, you know, change the color and then change the color mode and all that stuff. Like it'll take a while. So you're saving money, you're saving time. Not only that, but you're offering your client more files and it's going to make it look professional as well. So once that's done, it's took pretty quick. I can go to the file and, and you'll see this is what it looks like. So I've got all the files here, you get the logo, the logo mark in a separate folder. So if I just double click on the logo, you'll see it will come in these um, modes unless you select um, more. Um, so it's got full color, it's got grayscale, one color and reverse. If I double click full color, you'll see print. And then it will go, it's got the CMYK and it has my files there as you can see. I can close all these PDFs for now. It's a lot of files, so <laughs> make sure your computer is, is fast. And I'm just going to go back, and I've got the Pantone here as well. So if I double click on it, you can see here's a Pantone. Super cool. We're all ready to go, ready to print. Got the grayscale here, as you can see, got the AI. So if I double click on it, and then I zoom out, I'll just go to the. So you can see here's an AI file. Perfectly neat, really tidy, easy to use and everything's all there so you can you know go through all the files and check it like that it's all it's all names which is really helpful super useful so now 
I'm gonna get back into my Illustrator file. So what if I want to make all the web files now? You can see in my window, I can click finish logo package. If I'm done, if this is only a print project, I can finish and I'm totally sweet. But if it's a project where the client needs it for their website or social media, Instagram, all that stuff, then I can click make web logos. And it's going to do the same thing. It's gonna pretty much translate all those, um, the files in Illustrator and convert it into the PNG, the JPEG, um, and all the dip first, the different types, as you can see here. So you can see it's all in RGB. So it's got the black, the white, the gold, all that stuff, which is super cool. I'm gonna do the same thing. So once that's done, I checked it, I'm happy with it. Maybe I, uh, I don't want these, so I'll just delete those again. And I'll press export web logos and you can keep everything the same. So keep it in the same folder and the same name, press create. And now it's just gonna add all those folders and files into um, the digital file, the digital folders. So if I double click, full color, you can see digital is there now. So now it's editing all the digital. So I've got all the PNGs ready to go. And I got the AI file there as well. See print, uh, that's digital. See that? Obviously it won't bring in the print folder. Reverse digital. So like it's super handy and it's doing it all. As you can see, that's all loading, exporting all the artwork that I need to hand over to my client. As you can see there, SVG, JPEG, PNG, and the AI. So if I open the AI, you can see loaded it in there. And you can see the color mode is RGB. So if you look up the top here, it's RGB. And you know, the, the color is set, has a hex code there. So it's all set up, you know, there's no issues. It's so easy. It's such a powerful tool. Um, and yeah, it's really good. So yeah, that's how you use it. That's how you use the logo package express. Um, I recommend getting it guys. Like it's a no brainer investment. Like it's super useful, super good. Um, especially if you're, you know, you want to do design seriously and you want to run your own business, then it's going to really save you a lot of time. And especially if you have a lot of clients, you don't, you know, it's going to take you a while to do set up all the files. So this really does it all for you. Like it's so easy. So that's how you use it. Hope you got, hope this was helpful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Leave a comment below if this was a cool extension. Um, there'll be a link in the description where you can get it. You can buy it. It's only $79. So it's 20% off only for this week. And then it's going to go to $100. So I'll put an affiliate link um, below. So definitely check it out. Talk to you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week. Thank you.